Hello guys, welcome back to War Thunder with Ace. Today we are doing a little little bit of fun in the uh, lower tiers of War Thunder. We are currently flying the Zuskovsky's I-153. It's a tier one uh, premium that you get. It's one of, as um, many of you know, players will know, when you first join the game you get to choose which country you want to start maining in, and with that country you get the rank 1 premium. So this was indeed my first plane I ever flew in this game, so a little bit of nostalgia. The Chaikas are actually one of the um, most maneuverable planes you'll pr pretty much have at this battle rating, um, accompanied with a pretty decent climb rate and pretty decent energy retention and low stall speed. So basically what that means is most planes you're going to encounter, unless they're boom and zooming you, pretty much stand no chance in a turn fight. Um, with this thing being such a small and light aircraft, its climb speed will also get you up to altitude pretty quickly. As you can see, I'm pretty much higher than most of my teammates at this point in the game. And lots of the enemies at this battle ring don't really take the time to climb. As stated in previous episodes, we do know that energy it comes with altitude, so with having such a superior climb rate to these guys, I'm pretty much going to be able to do the boom and zoom on them, although this plane doesn't really have too high of a top speed. So with that in mind, we'll only really be able to reach about 500 kilometers an hour, roughly, in a dive. So that's something to keep in mind when you're first playing this aircraft, especially in realistic battle. If you're playing in arcade, you don't really have to worry about that. Um, but as we are in realistic, it's just something to keep in mind. We got a P-51 stalling up for a bomber right there, so that's pretty, pretty fun to watch. But I'm sort of, sort of keeping my eyes open on which targets that I sort of want to dive on right now. These P-51s seem occupied with our bomber, so it looks like I am going to be able to pounce on these two targets right here. I'm gonna keep an eye on that 410 in the distance. Let's see if these guys see me coming. This P-40 is trying to maneuver. He's, he's climbing at the moment. Um, I think he just now sees me. And now we're going to pounce. He's on fire. I'm not going to waste too much more ammo on him. This thing does have four, I believe, 7.62 caliber machine guns on it. Yep. And they are very fast firing. So this 410 finally came for us. He is not going to be able to do much here. This is where my low stall speed comes in. He's stalling out right beneath us. So now we're going to pounce on top of him. Now I believe this is a French plane as you can see by the markings on it. Apologies for my aim. I just saw his wing off right there. 1200 rounds left. As you'll see we go through this stuff very quickly. Um, so I got this F4F above me. I'm just going to kind of want to keep an eye on him. He does have the energy advantage. I do want to turn on this A36 as he does seem like he's coming for me. Alright, I see that F4F is turning off and going towards our bomber. So now I'm going to make my move on this A36 down here. I'm going to drop my throttle to zero as I said. This plane has a very low top speed. So we don't really want to overshoot um, our top speed here and rip our wings off. These guys going for bombers is not preferable for us. We've got a teammate. We just ran him. So that gives us a nice easy shot. He's on fire. We have another P-40 down here who's almost smashing into the deck. Not quite though. He's going to try to go for a head on so we are just going to stall him out right here. Get him to stall. Now here's where the slow speed, this is where this tight turning comes in. Don't want to black out here so pull a little bit of negative G. And just a look at this clot, this turn rate. And we'll see what happens here. He's very slow. Is he gonna smash it into the deck? Not quite. Three hundred rounds left. There we go. I had to try and be pretty conservative with my ammo right there just because I'm very low. Um, at the moment, the way things are looking, I don't have enough to secure another air kill, so I'm going to have to 
run it back to base. And I will see you guys, depending on how long this game lasts, I will see you back at the airfield. Um, I don't predict this game is going to last any much longer, just because tickets are so low right now, and the AI seem to be sort of wrapping things up. But it's a pretty good game so far, four air kills. Um, probably could have been five if I was a little bit more cautious with my ammo on that last guy, on those last two guys, actually. Um, but yeah, airfield's in sight, so I will cut the clip here, and I will see you when we are back in the sky. Alright guys, so the game actually ended up ending before I could even land, so... That's going to be a wrap for that game. Four air kills, not a bad start. The plane's pretty easy to fly. Um, your turning will save you on a lot of things, as well as your energy retention and low stall speed. So four kills for the game. That'll bring our rewards to roughly about 3,000. And not, th not that much. Um, this is still tier one. So as you can expect, the rewards aren't going to be too high. But this is a very fun plane to fly, and I highly recommend giving it a try if Russia is your starting nation. However, the Chaika line in general is just a very fun line to play, and I'd recommend anyone who's just looking for a nice, relaxed time. If you want the one that's similar to the Premium, um, it's second in line. It's going to be the M62 is the one that I was just flying. only difference is it's not Premium, so you're not going to obviously get a tiny bit of boost to research points that you would get with the premium with that being said guys i think that's going to be a wrap for today nice quick four kill game i'm going to keep the video short um i got midterms coming up here shortly so i'm keeping busy with that so that's sort of why it's been a while since my last upload but with that cue the corny intro and i will see you guys next time thanks